Alright, so now we have one one galloping trot of a canter. Okay. Now we have our we have our line layer done. Alright, we can mess with the size if we want to. Um, and we'll probably do that later. But now let's work on the fill layer. Okay. Uh, first, everybody save your work if you haven't already. So now we're going to fill this. We have our object selected. We're going to come into draw mode. And uh, what I did over here, I created three materials. Okay. First up, very important. Materials can be anywhere. Materials and layers are separate. You can use any material you want to on any layer. If you use multiple materials on the same layer, whichever material is here or most recently um, applied to your canvas is going to be on top. Now you're going to create a palette. A palette is um, um, it's it's a group of colors um, around which we build our object, and it's uh, it's everywhere in art, right? I'm going to create another one, and it's just going to be white, and I'm going to call it white, uh, white, like that, and we're just going to call this white. Capiche? These are my three colors. Light brown, brown, and dark brown. Very originally named. I'm going to hit Control S and save. So now if our computer breaks down, we can start from right here again. Okay. All right. So we need to fill this out. Um, and there's, there's a handful of different ways to do it. Some take a lot of time. Some don't take much time at all. But we want to utilize a tool called the multi-frame tool. So come up here and click this button, multi-frame. Okay. And what this means is we're essentially going to edit one frame and it'll do its best to edit all the other frames. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you what it is, but it's probably, it's not going to work very well for us. It'll work better if your drawing is not as busy. If you just have very nominal line art, it'll be able to fill in between that um, evenly. And what this does is it automatically fills every keyframe attached to your drawing in theory. Uh, so we need to tell it what keyframes we want it to fill at the same time. And to do that, we want to duplicate our line layer. So we'll click this down arrow, duplicate empty keyframe. So now we've created a layer and I'm going to call this fill layer, fill layer brown. Okay. And now fill layer brown, which is an empty layer has keyframes that match the frames of my fill layer. Okay. Now select one of these keyframes and then come up here to the summary and select all the keyframes. Now we're telling Blender that we want to start on this keyframe and we want it to apply to every one of these keyframes. Now this could crash your machine. Um, I'm going to do brown right here and it's in fill, 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 fill. Okay. Now take a look. So, I got this brown. If you want to do the same brown I'm doing, we got hex uh, nine Charlie fifty five three Foxtrot. Okay, and then you come over here, paintbrush selected, multi frame on, and then just give it a double click. Okay, and wait, let it wait. Okay, so now it just colored the head for not just this frame, but every frame that we selected. Now let's. Cut, double click on the body and give it a second. Now it's moving on the body. We'll double click down here. Okay. Let's double click the hind quarters. See what's happening. Let's double click the leg. Let's double click the hoof. Double click this leg. Double click this leg. Okay. And let's call it, let's call it there. So now take a look. I'm going to come back to my draw mode. I'm going to turn multi-frame off and you can see it, it filled a lot of it for the most part, as much as it could. You know, this counts as a closed area. This counts as a closed area. We're going to have to go in and fill these manually. That's okay. And then as I move the timeline across, you can see the next frame. Hey, it filled it. It filled it. It filled it. It filled it. Okay. Now don't get me wrong. It also filled down here. So this is bad. We're going to have to go in and, and take care of that and we're going to have to do it manually, but it's, it saved us a little bit of time. Okay. And the cleaner your line art, the more precision your multi-frame fill tool will run. So right now, everybody save your work. Okay. And then 
we want to come back here we want to lock our our line art layer so now let's use our ink pen with our brown layer fill and this is kind of fun if you just all you got to do is draw and it fills it in automatically okay just draw down here and draw a little circle and blender will automatically fill it in okay like that that and go like this like this okay and if you're a little out of the lines um, that's okay there's a trick for that as well there's this is blender so there's there's tricks for everything right um, let me come here like that like that okay so now say come here now come into sculpt mode and just move uh, move your under layer to merge with with line see same same thing as we were doing when we were rotoscoping and the reason this works is because we locked our top layer and if we didn't lock our top layer then we would be moving um, the black lines of our top layer okay does that make sense and then just run through your whole run through the buffalo and if you're if you're not quite there give it one of these Essentially, all you're doing is you're just smudging it, okay? Just like that. Get to the edge. Now, in areas where you overshot the edge, you, you know, obviously, what do we do? We just push it back so you can be inside the lines, okay? Now, also, you can very easily just select the, in edit mode, you can select the vertices and bring those up. We can grab those up, right, in the exact same way that we were doing it earlier. Blender makes it super easy, okay? Save your work, and that is the first uh, keyframe, okay? So now we have a brown buffalo, and we're gonna do a darker brown layer, that's cool, and we're gonna do uh, a light layer, as well, a light brown layer as well. Um, before we move on, uh, let's create a horn layer, okay? horn layer okay and then we just we got a horn layer here white horn layer selected the horn layer is above our skin and below our line art layer okay okay all right, everybody save your work. And now let's move to the next one. Okay, close, we're close here. Um, let's do brown. And we wanna make sure that we move from horn layer to our fill layer brown, okay? And then I'm just gonna... Fill that in there like that. Actually, I'll push that out. Bring this like this. Fill that out. And then we can push all that out. So let's go here. Let's delete this. Okay. 
And then let's come back to draw mode, excuse me, sculpt mode. And let's start pushing our guys. Here we go, like this, just to kind of match it up. Okay. Again, if your line art is a little bit more precise and not as wild and crazy as mine. Oh, forgot the hoof. How'd you forget that hoof? Okay, so we'll call that. All right, everybody save your work. And then let's move to the next one. Holy moly. Okay. Let's go here and in edit mode, let's select this and delete this. Let's go into sculpt mode and see what we can do. Huh? Bathroom break, and uh, I'm gonna make an iced coffee and get back to it. 